Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'll show you how I fix the light leaks on my DJI FPV digital goggles. These DJI FPV goggles are really very very good but they suffer pretty badly from light leaks especially around the side here. And I'm pretty surprised that DJI didn't get this right because the light leaks on most other FPV goggles that I've tried isn't too much of a problem. My Fact Shark Dominators and the Skyzone 03 OLEDs are a perfect fit on my head, especially the Skyzones using the smaller of the two faceplates that they supply. It's very comfortable. Now, most light leaks seem to be a problem when you're not flying, when you haven't got them turned on. And I think that's mainly because it's all black in here and you're noticing them a lot more. So when you're out and flying, you tend not to see the light leaks compared with when they're turned off. But for some reason, the light leaks on these goggles is really distracting. And maybe it's just because where the leaks are coming from. For me, it's around the sides and it's under the nose here. So here's a few suggestions on how to fix it. They may not work for all of you because goggle fit is a very personal thing. First off are these 3D printed shims. You can buy a set of these or you can print them off and you put some double sided tape and Velcro on the shim here and you peel this back and stick it in here like that. And that pushes out the sides of the standard foam so that you don't get the light leak on the side. Now these don't work for me. I still get light leak here and there's still the problem of the light leak around the nose. I mean I could have actually printed these a little bit bigger, I could have made some a little bit fatter, but this is a really untidy engineering solution and it just looks plain ugly. DJI have got their own sponge foam padding and it's not too expensive, it's about £14, something like that. But check out the links below for the latest pricing. And these are nice, they're high quality and the fit for me is pretty good. So let's get this on here. Now these are actually very nice, they're very nicely made, high quality, and the fit around my head is perfect. You can see they're quite fat around the sides here. But it's not a complete mask and doesn't cover the nose. They do provide this silly little pad here and it's self-adhesive, you just peel that off and stick it on there, but it's next to useless. So. What I did was hand cut a small piece of foam like this and that just sticks to the velcro inside the nose cutout like that. And with that in place there's zero distracting light leaks and it's still pretty comfortable. And the only downside is the slightly hacked look of the foam that I cut out by hand. It just looks a bit horrible. But I don't get any light leaks. But then I discovered these aftermarket padded masks from Banggood. They completely replace the existing padding and it even comes with its own head strap and you get them in a variety of colours. And they're pretty well made and are very cheap, they're about £9. You basically just remove the existing mask and slot them in place. Take that off there. I found the best way to do this is to squeeze the nose part like that and then pop it in place. So like I say you just remove the standard mask and stick these in place and I really like the look of these because they've got lots of padding around the nose and they do eliminate all the light leaks. So for me, these work perfectly and I think it looks pretty good. And because these are made of some sort of material rather than this sort of faux leather that the original masks are, they're very comfortable and you don't get too sweaty with those.
Those are pretty good, you know. <laughs> For nine pounds, that's incredible. And they're very comfortable. No light leaks around the side here at all, and nothing under the nose. And that's because of all this padding that's here. It looks like it's too much, but it's just right for me. And the other neat feature of these is there is actually a small cutout on the side here if you wanted to put your battery on the goggles in the way that you do with Fat Sharks. I think most of us put it in our back pocket, but that's quite neat that they've included that. Certainly there's no way of adding a battery onto the strap on the standard um, DJI goggle strap anyway. And as I said before, goggle fit is a very personal thing because we've all got different sized heads. And because these are all very cheap solutions, I suggest you try them and see what works for you. But for now, I'm happy with this. But surely DJI can do better and provide a few extra different size masks included in the price. After all, we're paying a lot of money for these. So if you know of any other replacement masks or you've got your own way of fixing this, let me know in the comments. Or even if yours are a perfect fit, it would be good to know how many of us have got the problem? Or is it just me and my weird shaped head? I don't think so. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video. And I'll see you next time.